In this video, we're going to be integrating 1 over the square root of 4x squared take away 8x take away 16. Now, this doesn't look nice. Uh, and it doesn't immediately look to be in either of the formats that we are used to. So, what we need to do with examples like this is to complete the square with the denominator, well, within the square root sign. Because these are in, so here we've got that in completed square form, okay? And so that's the format we need to have it in, and then we can manipulate. So, we need to complete the square on 4x squared, take away 8x, take away 16. So 4x squared, take away 8x, take away 16. So to complete the square on this, you factor the 4 out of the first two terms. So x squared take away 2x. Now you can factor the 4 out of the full um, of all three terms if you like. That's perfectly up to you. Um, I only ever deal with the first two terms. Then you complete the square on the inside bracket. So four lots of, we're going to have x take away 1 squared take away 1, take away 16. So we have four lots of x take away 1 squared. We've got take away 4, take away 16, so take away 20. So in the format that we're going to get here, we've got the integral of 1 over the square root of 4 lots of x take away 1 squared, take away 20 dx. Now, what we're going to want to do is factor the 4 out of those two terms and bring it outside the square root. So we've got 1 over the square root of 4, so 1 half times by the integral of 1 over the square root of x take away 1 squared. And remember, we factor the 4 out of the 20, so 5 dx. Now it is in the format that we want, where the x is x take away 1 and the a squared is 5, so a is square root of 5. So we can write that as 1 half times r cosh of x take away 1 over the square root of 5 plus some constant c. Now we could write it in the logarithmic form if we wanted to, uh, but that's our answer.